Where it stops. Yeah. Since a 5.7 Hemi has a plug in the back of the oh, camshaft, yeah. it has a oil plug, which is only a little silicone and set in. If you go too far, oh. it'll pop it back into the transmission, and you're screwed. Oh. So what I do, I keep it here, and that's it. Even how you, if you pop in faster than normal, yeah. this will actually keep it from going. Hmm. Ooh, that would that would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I actually, uh... So how do you prevent this, Norm? Just... plate okay now as you can see some of the material stayed on the head all right and by the way guys it is a gasket not o-ring so we i ended up getting the wrong parts i don't need these o-rings and these was expensive for some reason so i'm not gonna open these i probably can't return them so i might just sell them on ebay or some but this is what i need there's one for each side guys um uh, i guess over time yes anything would start leaking but i get the right gaskets now all right again this is on the rear of the cylinder head so i gotta go i gotta you gotta get all the old material off guys so i'm gonna use a ziz wheel try not to eat into the the actual i'm not sure it's not aluminum is it i'm gonna use a razor blade first see if i can get all of it off if not, not i'm gonna have to grind all the paper off but if this came off in spurts like that that means that there is some material left on the head let's go take a look can y'all see? I can't see, so I got y'all back there. Yes, I see. Yes, on three water boat contacts, I can see. Yes, so I'm going to try to squeeze my ziz wheel back there and get all of that off. But, guys, that is where the timing. Uh, I wonder if I still have my tool. This is what we used to use to bring the cam up the top dead center or, or to align the cam so the timing belt could go on. Uh, the right way well after so many of these <laughs> i realized that i don't really need that stupid tool <laughs> it's not that it's a stupid tool it's just i don't really need it so i didn't bother taking those off anymore although i have the tool and please guys don't make me go look through my toolbox to find it because i haven't used it in decades this engine been out a while but um so i got some work to do guys let me uh guys y'all know the little stuff i'm not going you know all i'm gonna do is grind bzzz, clean this up i'm gonna go back there bzzz, clean that up i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna use just a little tab of rtv so it'll stick on and then put this back in place i'm gonna do that on both sides all right and that's gonna be a wrap for this oil leak guys one thing one thing i want to mention please get your new pcv valve every time i'm repairing oil leaks i go in with a new pcv valve all right so yes and i am i already did the uh 
right side. I, I was committed, guys, before I found out I had the wrong, uh, the wrong plate gasket. So I'm gonna get all that done, clean all this up. I will get this car a bath. I don't want it to look like any leaks coming, and uh, put everything back together, guys. Uh, I'm going in with a new EGR. EGR is fairly easy, guys. It bolts to the rear of the head. <laughs> this is the best time of any to replace it. Yeah, you see that two bolts right here? That's what the EGR bolt to. And I tried to explain or touch on some of what EGR do. Exhaust gas recirculation valve. Okay, so we can talk about that some more either on a live stream or in a video. Live streams are Sunday and Thursday at 8 p.m., guys. Um, sometime I have a special guest. Sometime I go rogue and go off feed off um, the audience or the people in the room okay so you're welcome to join us we have fun guys we don't be 100% serious in fact we crack jokes we crack jokes about other YouTube content creators <laughs> uh, naturally the big ones okay uh, yes I let them I let them indulge in that I try to sit back and listen because I don't want a beef with the one big huge guy named Scotty Kilmore all right so i let those guys do that i just listen i'm all ears <laughs> but now nah, guys we have fun um i love scotty i like scotty scotty cool dude man i love the the the, the multimedia side of the things uh, i'm not saying i love his videos i mean i i don't watch enough to uh, give an opinion but i love the way he do his artwork thumbnails this that and the way he grabs your attention by way of giving his videos a name now you can call it what you want clickbait or whatever but sorry uh sometimes it works <laughs> he didn't trick me a couple of times <laughs> i'm tripping guys um uh, yes but i invite you to jump on the live stream sundays and thursdays between eight i i've been saying 8 p.m but we've been getting started by 8 15 8 30 uh so i gotta do better all right that's all i have guys thanks for watching this will I'm bathed it. I'm a, I'm a, I might fire the camera back up when we go to the car wash because I'm going to steam clean all of this. This engine's going to look new. All right, so I'll see y'all later, man. Thanks for watching.